How's it going everyone? Masks are being used almost every day. There's obviously tons and tons that will need to be recycled. What I was thinking is, could we actually use these masks for something a little more technical? Because these masks are made of a non-woven fiber, which is very similar to the separator inside of a lot of batteries. Would it actually work as a battery separator? I'm gonna try it out and we're gonna see if it will work. So almost all batteries have two plates and they have in between the plates a separator. So this is inside of an old car battery. This is what's left of the plates, but you can still see that this is one of the gray plates. And then we have a separator and then we have our red lead plate, which is just a big pile of, of mess. And that continues on. Now the separator can allow a liquid to flow through, but it won't allow the plates to make contacts, usually like a porous material, like a non-woven material. These plates here are out of a SLA, so sealed lead acid battery. So they're still in good condition. The red lead plates were completely disintegrated. So the plate would be wrapped with a separator. Usually the separator would be like, a glass mat or another material. Could you actually use this mask material as a battery separator? So let's get right into it. Copper, aluminum. This was cut from a copper pipe. This is just from some siding. Let's cut out a separator. No connection. We'll go back to DC. Have some salt water. Aluminum and copper is together with the mask material in between. And then take this together so it holds together like that. Let's see if there's a voltage. Nothing. Aluminum positive. So let's dip this into the salt water and see if we get a voltage. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the aluminum is our negative plate. So we'll switch to aluminum being negative. In the water. 475 we're getting 500 millivolts in this cell so i have a variable power supply connected up to our battery okay so we have four volts going into the plates and then we'll disconnect the power 1.3 volts in that cell 1.4 volts and that's without the charger So I want to test this homemade battery I put together with the mask material. So I haven't added any electrolyte to this in probably a month or two. So this would be technically like an air battery. So let's see if it has any voltage left. 460 millivolts. And then to this one, 900. We almost have a volt. What I put together is a homemade carbon lead battery. We have a piece of stainless steel mesh. So that would be our current collector. There is the carbon felt. And then we have our mask material. So just put the mask material over the lead plate, wrap it around. And then we just put our carbon felt against there and then put the mesh against the carbon felt. Now the mesh is a current collector, so it collects the current from the carbon felt. You don't really need it, but how can you connect to the carbon felt? And so water here. Okay, let's dip it in. Okay, so it jumped. Okay, so we're at 500, 600 millivolts. Let's try to charge it. So we'll hook up power to it. And the power supply is set at three volts and let's see what happens. We'll give it like a few seconds and then I'll take it off. Let's take it off and see what we have. 1.5, 1.4, pump 4.5 into it. Let's see how many volts it holds. So the materials in this battery here would actually last quite a while. Stainless steel, carbon felt, 
the mask material and the lead. So you could do this with iron and aluminum or iron and copper and stuff like that, but it's not going to last as long as this carbon lead battery. You can see that the battery actually works. Amperage wise, we're probably not going to get much out of this. Now, if we want to make this more voltage, then we need to add cells to this. Cut into the mask and see what kind of materials are in the mask. How many layers inside of this particular mask? There's one, there's two, three, four, and five. These two look like non-woven fiber uh, procedure masks. So you got one, two, and three layers. So this would probably be your non-woven layer. Just automatically shut off.